What's up, my fellow Sheffers? Welcome back. Welcome to the first episode, or whatever, of Clayton's Cooking Extravaganza. <laughs> so, as you can see on my hat, I am cook. So today, we're going to be doing some <sighs> sweet Georgia Heinz, um, sweet, and, sweet honey chicken. It's really easy to make. And also alongside that, we'll be making some Idahoan um, four cheese mashed taters. So, stick around. You don't want to miss the insanity. <laughs> Alright, so the first step, you gotta get your chicken. So, well, we didn't get the chicken from Applebee's. My dad pre made some chicken. Then we have to start off the um, George Foreman, to which we're gonna cook the chicken on. Then, if I put this sauce in the bowl, boom, ba boom, we just stir it around and then we have to get our little. Nice little uh, glass, I don't know what to call this um, container thingy. We gotta spray it down with Pam so it cannot stick. All right, so let's get cooking. <laughs> so today, we're just waiting for this thing to load. So we're cooking on good old George Foreman. I'm not sponsored by this, but yeah, this is where the fun stuff's going to happen. We're, we're going to make the chicken on good old Georgie boy here. Good old Muhammad Ali victim. So, yeah, so let's get uh, the cooking. Um, it's still warm. or it's, it's still cold. So, I'll let you know when we're cooking, okay? Uh, so, right now... The George Foreman is cooking our chicken. And here's a tip on cooking with a George Foreman. It doesn't go on solid green. It just goes on to two colors, orange and green. So I repeat, it goes orange and green. So while this thing is cooking, we're going to show you how the magic happens. Well, not in a manner of what you guys think, but cooking manner. <laughs> so, right now it's time to put in our nice and good Heinz Sweet Honey Georgia Style. So what you gotta do, you gotta save a little bit. Well, I have more. Just gotta shake it up. Let it rip like it's the 4th of July or when you meet at a Taco Bell or Chipotle. Yeah, get in there. So we just have to fill up in a little bit of a bottom here. As you can hear, good old Georgia boy is cooking. Don't, don't mind the dishes. Censor the dishes out. <laughs> so right there. No, no, th we're focusing on the magic, so we just got to put this here. But boom. There. Now you're ready for a good old-fashioned hoot and nanny in the bowl. We got to spray down platey bowl here. So you get your Pam, make sure you don't spray it at yourself. Make sure you fill the pan because you don't want your chicken to be stucky or be like clumped together, okay? So good old Georgia boy here, still cooking. You go George. After Georgie is cooking the chicken, we got to put it in the bowl. And then right after we put it in the bowl, we got to put it in the pan. And we got to put it in the oven for 350 to 4 to 5 minutes. And then we're going to cook our mashed taters. Okay? So, keep on cooking, Georgie. You got this. Okay, so Georgie boy got done cooking. And, um... Let, let's take a look at our beautiful product here. All right, so you see this? No, if we can lift it up. Holy hot tamale. Well, it's supposed to look like that, so don't worry. It is fully cooked. So you, boom. 
All right, I'm gonna put the camera down. We got our we got our chicken in the thing. So what we gotta do? Grab a good old spoony spoon. Make sure you mix it all in. Don't worry, you're gonna put more on. Well, one piece of chicken just fell off. So I'm just gonna do a time lapse of this. So I'll, I'll, we're gonna do that YouTube editing. Three, two, bam! But look at this. We got her all covered. So now it's time to pick our chicken pieces. Put her in the pan. Ba bam and then I'm just there's a piece of chicken that fell off so we're just gonna move her back right here get over here you little sexy piece ba bam two ba bam so you just gotta go over it again so now it's time to hit the hit the bake make sure it's 350. Um, we're gonna wait until she heats up. So we gotta turn on the good old light here. We're waiting until that until that beautiful W right there, or a, a warped piece of bread, and then we can put it in. So it's right now preheating the oven for 350, and we're gonna put this sexy beast in there. Yeah! All right. So our chicken's in there. So the good um, estimate amount of time, we're gonna do it for five minutes first. And it's gonna start automatically. So if we can click on cook time, it's right now at four minutes. Well, it was originally at five. So now it's on to the good part. Mass taters, baby, let's do this. Here are the directions for stove top and microwave. We're actually gonna do stove top um, if you want to pause the video right here so you know how to make it, there you go. So we need two cups of water. We got our one cup here. We're going to put the water here. So it's, it's like you got to remove the boiling pot. So we're going to do that here in a second. And it's going to be done in three, two, one. Boom. Our two cups of water is in here. So now we got to turn on the heat we're gonna put it on high and it's right here this is the burner this is the left rear left front so we're right here we just gotta adjust her but bam just put your pot head on get on there you so boom so we're waiting until this water boils then we can put in the beautiful gorgeous four cheese so let's take a look at our time here so it's two minutes as soon as this thing is done, we're gonna put it in for four minutes now. So my dad says it's between five to four minutes or four to five minutes. So I put at five for first and then four minutes next. It, it works, trust me, this is the process. Trust the process. So yeah, we put it on high. We got our two cups of water and we're gonna be putting this here. So we're gonna do a transition. All right, guys, it's time. It's time. Put that some bitch in. Then we gotta stir. Oh crap. Okay, so then we gotta put that there. Here we go. Gotta take it off and stir. Holy boba! Holy mama! Woo! -wee! Man, it's hot as a hell up in this baby. Woo! So we just gotta stir right here. Make sure you get all them goodness here. These are easy to make Idaho potatoes. Personally, when I was growing up, I had Hungry Jack. So we just gotta. Make sure we get everything cooked. You see right here, you just gotta make sure everything is cooked. 
And then we gotta let it sit for like a minute. Let it like puff up. So, ba-bam. Look at this gorgeous thing. I made it. So we just put it back into the oven. So as soon as this time is done, it's time to eat, boy! All right, so we got done making our good old Idaho and potato. So let's see what the time is for this beautiful chicken. We got 28 seconds. So um, cue the, um, the song of the um, final countdown thingy. I don't know. Um, go. <laughs> oh, she's done. She's done. All right, she's done. So first, we just gotta put these on. Safety first. Woo! Look at that, baby. Woo! Pull that sucker out here. Whew. Holy muller, holy mother, holy crap! It's hotter than the Fourth of July out here. Yeah! There we go, ladies and gentlemen. I can't wait to show you the finished product. So we gotta stop and clear off. So let's take a look at our masterpiece right there. And this is the glorious potatoes and chicken. And we're gonna put it on a plate. So we're gonna transition. Three, two, bam. Look at this delicious baby. So it's time to do the taste test. So, I am about to eat this wonderful dinner, and we're gonna taste test, but first, you gotta have your drink. So my drink of choice, Dr. Pepper. There we go. My dad taught me a trick, you just gotta go to the side. And wait, oh yeah, Clayton, you got your hat back. In the previous clips, where's your hat? I just decided to take it off because it's gonna be burning hazard, so. Let's have a taste of our beautiful chicken. Just gotta cut it. Dang it, I should've brought a knife, but wait, hold on. So here is our sweet, our honey and sweet Georgia barbecue chicken. Mmm. Delicioso. Mmm. Now let's try our potatoes. Make sure it's all good. Mm. Potatoes are good. Everything is good. Hope you guys like this video. If you want to see more of this um, cooking stuff, make sure you leave um, a like and comment what you want me to try and make. And I want to say this, if this video can get, I don't know, like maybe 10 likes or something, or maybe five or three, I don't know, I don't care. Um, I'll try and figure out a new method of cooking, which there's a different sauce to the honey and sweet Georgia. There's the Texas one, which is has a little kick. So we might make that next time. We don't know. So um, yeah, here's to it. And uh, see you guys in the next video.